welcome back to my channel if you want to see how I did this makeup my Christmas party go to makeup which is this one keep on watching not gonna regret this it's gonna be fun as usual let's get started no starting anything if you haven't yet be subscribed it's free fun of adventure love giving a fashion advice love giving beauty advice and I do have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, as well as my official website, which, uh, which is really, really fun, where you're gonna have like a lot of services, a blog board, when I'm gonna try to be more consistent as to actually show you anything that I would find, any outfit that I would like, and some tips when it comes to like dressing up and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just need to be much more consistent when it comes to it. I do have my official first ever digital lookbook live available for everybody and I'm gonna link it in the description box below as well it's um it's really fun I mean it's the Christmas edition so of course you're gonna have a lot of outfits a lot of different outfits when it comes to Christmas party Christmas corporate party Christmas family it's gonna be up to your style I really try to actually go with a lot of different type of outfits so check it out you're not gonna regret this and then there's a part where you're gonna have like the gift for him the gift for her some really nice dupes and clickable links so if you ever like it you can you can just click on it and then get directed straight to the website be able to order it if you want to so I hope you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be in the description box below. So yeah. I want to have that kind of glowy skin look where you can just have the glowy side of it without having too many colors on the eyes because I love colors but to me the colors that I always go to is like gold, red, brown, really basic colors. It's really about that and uh, I'm gonna show you step by step how I did this makeup. In really easy really easy even for those that actually don't like to put makeup on I think it's gonna be super basic I'm gonna show you how I did it and you're gonna see by yourself that people everybody can do it if I can do it you can do it as well so believe me. I already put my foundation on and I used the Kat Von D one the Lucky like foundation with another one which is the Revlon photo ready foundation I mix them up because this one is so dark for my face so much darker and I was trying to find something that was actually much lighter but I just had that one on hand so I just decided to go with it but I mix it up to make closer to my like skin tone for my eye I'm gonna use that first the snake face contour kit I would use most of the time for the cheeks to actually contour your face but I don't contour my face that much it's the color that I use most of the time to either contour my nose or bright side to actually use it for my for shadow here to just bring more light on my eyes that's pretty much it what I'm gonna use for my eyes is gonna be that side I'm gonna add another color from this pack of BH Cosmetic Palette, which is a third edition of the 120 color palette. It's a really, really good price for what it is. Color, the red. You know me and red. I'm gonna use this as the color for the corner eye to blend it as much as you can. Okay, I'm done with this part of the eyes. I think I'm pretty much done with my eyes. I'm gonna add my concealer. Not gonna be much, but it's just gonna be enough to actually make it look a little bit brighter. Just a little bit. Wow. 
once i'm done with that i'm just gonna like blend it as much as i can just to avoid any horrid lines you don't want it you want it to look like really natural so blend it as much as you can right i usually use my beignet luxury banana powder i think i use it a little little bit less now but just enough just a little bit and it's gonna be a really 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 not much have to be careful leave it just for a while for a couple of like seconds just the powder to actually like get in the skin and I look like a ghost now but it's okay <gasps> me a ghost I do look like a ghost actually wow your eyeshadow and then just blend it a little bit more just to be cautious you know blend everything and just have that kind of natural look again to add a little bit powder a little bit of powder here mineralize skin finish like from mac and i've been using it for years centuries i've been using it for a while now so yeah Here is the time for my liner and the one that I use is the Lacquer Liner 24 Hours from L'Oreal and it's like Enfaillie Bleu That's the name. It's so dark. It's like the deep black. Guys, get it. It's the best liner that I've had for centuries now. Pretty much done with the liner here. I think I'm done. Most of the time I would use it for the under the under eye as well, but this time I'm just not gonna do it because I'm gonna put something like much more like brighter. And like add a little bit of like mascara. The mascara that I use is the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. So I don't think it's great, I don't think it's the best, but it does the job. I'm done with the, with the mascara to do the blush part and it's, done, it's gonna be another product of like MAC Pro Longwear Blush and it needs the color blush <laughs> it's not the color blush it's like stubborn is the color love it because it's a deep red perfect for fall, winter now you're gonna put just a bit, just a bit, just a bit I don't know how a bit is but yeah And it's gonna be just right on the on the cheeks and this is it for the blush i'm gonna add my anastasia beverly hills nicole guerrero glow palette you can actually mix match the color as well but i'm gonna use the kitty cat here which is a kind of really nice pink peachy type of color it's really nice and like I said, you put a bit because this one is just glowing. If you don't want to glow as much, I would suggest to put just a bit. So yeah, just a bit on the top of your cheeks and that's gonna be it for it. More than that, believe me, you don't. And this sun right here is just right in front of my face. This is it for this one. What I'm gonna do here is just to add really that light in the corner of my eyes. I think this option of just adding a bit of light on the corner of the eye for me is like really good for me personally. I love adding a lot more on my like outfits rather to have to do too much to my face most of the time. So yeah. The Stila Liquid eye Eyeshadow in Rose Gold Retro. People, I love it. 
I love this color so much and it was a birthday gift you know where you are so thank you again I love you I love it so much I think it's the best and I love rose gold I love rose gold way too much for my taste I think wait I think you pretty much said here when it comes to it the whole thing is just right there and then I do my lips and uh, I was thinking about doing something more much more like nude I'm gonna use two things here and these are from my as well my pen my lip pen lip pencil which is the night moth it's like a deep brown but because I have like pink lips especially the bottom one it's not as brown <laughs> which I don't mind at all. I'm gonna use it to contour my lip and it's gonna be perfect to add like a nudish color in the middle. Blend it first before adding anything more because you don't want to have like a really hard hard line around the lips so you want it to be like a little bit smoother a little bit more natural not like harsh <laughs> from there you can actually leave it like that if you want to because I think the shade of it it gives that kind of ombre look that a lot of people you can like go for it so it's a really nice ombre lip example here and, and it, this is gonna be a cream sheen lipstick from MAC which is the cream in your coffee like a peachy red nudish type of color for my type of lip and you're pretty much set now what you can do is to add your lashes if you want to and I'm gonna add it just because of the whole process but if you want to add a little bit more like drama extra to it you can go for lashes right and I love lashes so I'm gonna add my lashes I'll be right back because in front of the camera I don't know I feel I feel shy I'm done now I'm done with the, the lashes part as well the other part is gonna be my hair now and uh, as you know I have bread <laughs> like shocker you know most of the time like you saw on mon most of my like lookbooks or any video that I've made I I love to leave it like that I love when it just naturally just like that I don't like to do too much to it for the sake of the video you can go for something really 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 nice looking you can actually keep a shape to it and uh, really, whoops. I'm not a good person. It comes to it. Okay, that's pretty much it when it comes to my natural, not natural, my Christmas makeup. Super easy to do, super quick to do, and something that you can use to go everywhere. I mean, Christmas party, Christmas office party, with your friends, with the family. It's so much simple that you can go anywhere with that, like literally. And it has just a bit of sparkle without having too much to it. If you liked it i hope you really enjoyed it i hope you got some inspiration and that was it for today for my video i hope you liked it and i will see you guys in my next video at the end of the week bye